So this is Stefan Boltzmann apparatus and it is used to find the Stefan Boltzmann constant. So here if we are discussing the main components, we are having a water heater and then there are four thermocouples and inside this, inside this there is a hemisphere and on the surface of those hemisphere there are four thermocouples and uh, these one, two, three, four represented the readings of those four thermocouples. Then we have a five here which represents the thermocouple reading on this disk and this disk is our uh, experimental main experimental setup then this is the ebonite rod on which we are keeping this disk then we have a reading called t6 that is the reading from the thermocouple which is kept inside this water meter so what we do is first we will be switching on this switch so that water heater works and uh, then we switch on this so that we can we are able to take the panel readings so in panel reading first what we do is we will be adjusting this one this knob to 6 so that we are getting the reading at this thermocouple at this water heater so we will wait till this rates 100 degrees Celsius then what we do is uh, when the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius so what we intend to do is we are opening this wall so that the water will be filling inside it. but before that we want to avoid that so before that we want to avoid this one we want there will be cold water inside this one so that have to be removed that have to be removed for that what we do is we will be switching on these two walls so that uh, the cold water will be drained out so after this entire water is drained out be closing this uh, then uh, we will be ke keeping this one here and we will be switching on this knob now the hot water from this heater will be filling in the hemisphere inside it and we will be keep keeping this open so when uh, water fills inside this one and when it drains out when it overflows we can see water will be flowing through this particular uh, tube and when water overflows, we will close it. Then we will close. Okay. So that then this is the main experimental setup. So we will be inserting this one in below it. There is a hole through which we are able to insert insert this experimental setup, and we will be locking it. Now, uh, actually, before inserting this ammonite rod, we should wait for one minute so that the reading at these four knobs are same almost the same that is the temperature is distributed constantly throughout uh, this experimental setup and after that we will be inserting the ebonite rod so then we have to take the reading uh, for about uh, 20 minutes that, that means for each interval of 20 seconds we will be taken the reading and that reading will be t5 t5 represents the so 30 seconds and that will be T5, T5 is the thermocouple which is being kept in the disk and for, then we will be plotting this particular table where time T5 and temperature is being noted. So for each interval of 30 seconds we will be taking the reading. Then after that, <coughs> after 20 seconds, so reading will be over, we can switch off this one. Then what we do is, <coughs> first Initially, we have noted T1, T2, T3, T4. Those are the surface temperature and we will be taking the average and we are able to find the T average. Then here we have T5 on T, we can plot the graph and from the graph we can obtain the slope. So slope is obtained, that is dt by dt. So then we have the governing equation. So that is a rate of change of heat is mcp dt by dt. So dt by dt is obtained from the graph. Cp is given a specific heat of copper. It is given. Uh, then here we have net energy radiated by the disk is sigma AD T raised to 4 average minus T raised to 4D. Uh, so what we have is we have the AD is the area of the disk. So uh, we have rate of change of heat of the disk MCP dt by dt where the mass of disk and CP those will be given. dt by dt can be obtained from the graph. Then sigma AD T raised to 4 average minus TD raised to 4 average. Where TD is the temperature of the disk before inserting to the test chamber. That is room temperature. T4 raised to average that we are able to obtain 
plus that average is this t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 by 4 plus 270 that in kelvin we will get that average and we will be substituting here ad is the area of the disk so by equating these two one we are able to find the sigma so that's how we find the stephen boltzmann constant by using stephen boltzmann apparatus thank you